Hi everyone, welcome back to Kiki's channel. Today I have another unboxing for you and it is a very exciting one for me personally because this is my very first online Hermes purchase and it is the infamous toiletry bag. Let's get started. Do 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 Welcome to Kiki's channel! Do do Ding ding! Alright, so to start off with a little bit of background, I have never shopped with Hermes online. When I do shop with Hermes, I tend to prefer shopping with my SA and I'm on to my technically third sales associate now just because as you guys know, Hermes is a um, a beast of its own, its own kind of thing. And to build up your profile history, especially to be offered quota bags or really any bags, it's much easier just to stick with your SA and your local store. So that's what I have been doing. All right, so what I'm about to open for you and what I ordered is the famous toiletry pouch from Hermes, the Brita Brock. I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but You'll just have to forgive me. Uh, it is, yes, like I said, technically a toiletry pouch. However, people have been really loving it and using it both on social media and, of course, in real life as a regular bag. And to be completely honest, at first I didn't get what the hype was about this bag. I had actually been offered this bag twice from my previous SA and I had turned them down without looking at them. In hindsight, I really should just look at everything they tell me to look at because I became obsessed with this bag a little bit recently because it really reminds me of the Bottega Veneta Jody bag, but of course at a different price point and actually cheaper and a different material, but nonetheless it looks so chic. And I just love how effortless and really nice I think it would look um, with a casual outfit. All right, so here I am just looking at the complimentary blank gift card that I requested because you know, every day is a gift. That's why I call it the present. <laughs> Dead joke. Here is the receipt as well as the return policy. So back to my story. So at first I had said I didn't like this bag or I just didn't understand how I could use a toiletry bag as a purse, but now I have since made a 180 as I often do and I think we all do. Um, and I was so team, you know, Brita Brack as a purse, as a bag. And I was really, really wanting to hunt one down, but not wanting to pay over retail. And so I was really lucky to have seen this online when I was scrolling on the website and I don't scroll too, too often, I think, more recently because I have a few things I have in mind. But I was actually able to see two of these, two of them, and I ordered both, but... <sighs> ding, ding! I got a call and it was the Hermes customer service maybe about three days after I had made the order. About three days after I made my order, I get a call from Hermes customer service saying that even though I had made the order and I had gone through, they were trying to give this bag to more people. So if I could just please choose one that I preferred more. So I decided to choose this one, which is the PM size over a GM in gray and wool. Like, I get it. I know what it feels like to not be able to get anything online. Like I said, they've canceled my orders before, so I understand how frustrating it is, but you know, I'm just so disappointed because I felt like, oh, finally, even though they've canceled on me before, I finally got two of the ones I wanted, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. Oh my gosh, guys, how cute is she? I'm not gonna lie, like honestly, when I first saw this, I was so surprised by the quality because don't get me wrong, it's expensive, but like in the world of Hermes and luxury bags, this bag was only about, uh, I wanna say 800 or 700 Canadian. So what it, that probably translates to six or 700 USD. But the quality, just like, I was amazed. It looks so luxurious in person. The stitching is so impeccable. Just everything is aligned. It looks so beautiful in person. Like, I, I kid you not. I'm trying to capture this. Hopefully it is clear. Um, the camera's good enough quality in 4K. But my gosh, I just, I was blown away because I was thinking, well, in my head, you know, you, you go kind of hard on yourself. You go, dang it, Tiki. Why didn't you get it before? You were offered this twice, you idiot. But you live and you learn. Oh my gosh, like this angle. 
my gosh, it is beautiful. You are so pretty. Like, my husband is a huge whiskey connoisseur, collector of scotch, whiskey, bourbon, you name it. And I don't get it when he, like, you know, admires the bottles and, like, you know, the colors or whatever he does. I'm not going to pretend I pay that much attention. <laughs> but I guess I am the exact same way with bags. There's just I just like looking at them and the quality of this bag. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad this one came in. I forget the name of this. This kind of, like, not herringbone, but the pattern for the handle. It was much thicker, I think, than what I saw online for uh, unboxings of the other style, the style that's more neutral. Um, the other style seems a lot softer, and this one is very stiff. As you see, it stands straight up, which I really like because if you're going to use it as a top handle, just having a more firm handle feels so much more substantial and more luxurious, in my opinion. And the back itself, the canvas part of it is actually not as soft as I thought it would be. I'm sure with time it will soften up, but yeah, it was thick, luxurious, substantial, definitely not a dust bag material. It's something, something a little bit thicker. So what do you guys think of the bag? Do you like the size, the color, the shape of it? Would you guys use it as a purse or would you guys solely use it as a toiletry pouch? Please let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. They're always fun, sometimes hilarious. And okay guys, oh my gosh, I hope this camera is capturing the details because oh my gosh, look at the quality. Please drink every time I say the word quality, water or tea or something. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Love how they have embossed, not embossed, it's when you go in, it's debossed technically, right? When you go press in. Um, well, anyway, it has Hermes engraved in it on both sides. Just the detail and how well the stitching is. It's just so nice. I love it. The leather tab there, the buttons and close-up detail of how they did the handle. I love how it gives a bit of texture to it. It glides really smoothly. Sorry, I was doing it like pretty much with one hand, so not not looking as smooth as it really is in reality but my goodness and the shiny silver hardware which i am as you know normally not a fan of i actually really enjoy in this bag it looks very chic i think and just because there's not a lot of hardware i don't mind it as much here we go for the inside look at that quality drink <laughs> i'm kidding um but it has the little h stamps there you see the h kind of a pattern all over the canvas and it's a thick ish kind of i think i want to say semi waterproof or perhaps water resistant fabric feels like but very much feels luxurious and not cheap or flimsy at all it has two pockets on one side two small ones as well as one large one on the other side very handy to have always to organize your bag i may get a bag organizer for this if I can find one online. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. As I said, this is the PM size. So if any of you have a GM sized Brita Brac, please let me know. I am very much interested in trying to get the larger size as well. And I want to know what your opinions are of it, whether that's a good idea or not. Here is the inside tag. It's 100% cotton, uh, dry clean only, and of course made in France because Hermes made in France. Yay! I'm biased! <laughs> As you see, you can actually pull the inner polyester fabric lining away from the cotton canvas outer shell, I guess, or the outer bag. Because of the light canvas color, I'm wondering if I'll have to baby this bag just a little bit because I'm afraid it'll get dirtied or stained, but at the same time, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really baby any of my bags too, too much beyond like reason. Um, and I'm glad it can be dry clean, but oh, here I notice a little flaw. See how the light captured here? I'm gonna put it up again. What am I doing? Right there. So see how that little popped stitch? I mean, it's really minute and I'm sure as I use it, this is gonna pop up more, but just wanted to point that out to you guys that yeah, there are going to be these minor imperfections, even though I was just raving about how perfect the quality is. But this still does not detract, I think, from the quality. Even as I go in this close, if you look at it, that's just amazing. Oh my god, look at that. 
not my nails, sorry, they do need care. Uh, just wanted to show you that tiny little bit, you know, pretty eagle-eyed. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my unboxing. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for new videos, please do so in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Janet. Ding ding! Do 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 Thanks for watching! Come again! Bye bye!